So to create a QR code that lasts forever and is free, just head to Google and type QR code cactus and then search and it's this one QR code cactus and this is a tool I built myself just because in my previous video I had a lot of people kind of get tricked into using a paid feature when they didn't need it and it was an external website so I built this tool for you. By the way I'm Robert and if you need trustworthy help with your WordPress website then check out the first link in the description there's all our services you can check them out there. It's very easy to use you have a few options here what type of uh a QR code you're going to create, but most of you are just going to use URL because you're going to link it to your website. So here's my website. I added it here and it's already generating the QR code. And remember, you can add the pages, the parameters, everything here. It, it doesn't matter. You just add the URL you want people to go to. Then there's this option. And this is a paid feature and the benefits are that you're able to uh, track how many scans you get for each of the QR codes and that way you know what works and what doesn't. And also in addition to that you're able to change the URL behind the QR code and that way if you print it out but then you decide later oh actually I want to you know change the URL from the home page to a certain landing page that's possible with the paid features. But in terms of uh, what you can do with this QR code you can adjust the background, the foregrounds, uh, you can even add a background image but you need to be careful with this so that you have enough contrast uh, here so that your uh, phones can scan it easily they're pretty good at it but it's still something to keep in mind you can also add design elements here for example change these how these look like or how the dots look like maybe you want to have little stars here again don't go too crazy so that people actually recognize this, that this is a QR code and then uh, you, you have a few other options like adding a logo in the middle so let's say this is a PayPal payment, uh, then you could add here PayPal logo like this. Or you can also upload your own logo. Maybe you want to have this, uh, you know, to your social media, to your Instagram. You can add Instagram logo there or just a, a you know, picture of you. And then you can also adjust the frame so you can add a little bit of a, uh, yeah, borders like this here and also change uh, the label and so on. Now, once you're done, you can click on save. And now you can just download it as PNG, SVG or PDF. In most cases, you want to use PNG. If you're going to print it, you can use also SVG. So I'm going to use PNG now and you see it's downloading it. When I open it, you have your QR code here. So if I grab my phone and just scan this QR code, you'll notice it goes to that punchseller.com website and it loads it up. Super quick, super easy way to just create your QR code. Okay, now you know how to create a QR code and if you want to learn how to track it in Google Linux 4, if you're already using it, then it's quite simple to set up and uh, you can just watch the tutorial. It should be here above or maybe next to me and I'll explain how to do it.